Welcome to section 23 of viruses. This is our virus overview figure. In this video, we'll be discussing California encephalitis, which you can see right here. This scene will take place inside of a car of a family going on a vacation to California. You can see that they're about to pass the Golden Gate Bridge and that there is a sign that says, Welcome to California. All of these references to California should help you remember that this image is all about California encephalitis. Notice that we've made the interior of the car colored with a shade of red. This is to help you remember that it's an RNA virus. Like most hungry people on vacation, this family stopped to grab a bite to eat, and now we can see the hot dog buns sitting in between the seats. The buns will be our symbol for Bunyaviridae, which should help you remember that this virus belongs to the Bunyavirus family. Next, notice that we've shown a lot of rain clouds outside of the car, which should help you remember that this is a negative sense virus. Just think of the negative vibes associated with a gloomy, rainy day and you should always remember this. Now, if you look closely at the bridge, you can see that there are some stray helical-shaped wires that must have broken loose during the rainstorm. Hopefully someone fixes that soon before the bridge breaks. In any case, these helical-shaped cables are here to help you remember that California encephalitis virus has a helical capsid. All right, now we've added a little girl inside of the car who appears to be in her own little world, just enjoying the drive and drawing some circles in her coloring book. These circles should help you remember that the RNA structure is circular. Now we've shown a little boy who is about to eat a candy bar. You can clearly see that the bar is divided into three segments, which is here to help you remember that the RNA structure is divided into three segments. If you look outside, you can see a tree to the left which says Arbol. This is our symbol for arboviruses, and is here to help you remember that California encephalitis is an arbovirus. More specifically, it's transmitted by mosquitoes. So notice that we've shown a pesky mosquito inside of this car that's about to bite this little boy. Okay, if we turn our attention towards the front of the vehicle, notice that we've included a map of the United States. This is the family's GPS, and they drove to California from the East Coast, so we can see the central and eastern parts of the U.S. highlighted. This is to help you remember that California encephalitis is common in the central and eastern parts of the U.S. This may seem counterintuitive to you because, after all, the virus is named California encephalitis. However, the virus was just discovered in California, which is how it got its name, but is actually more common in the central and eastern parts of the United States. Okay, for the last part of the image, notice that we've shown a boy sticking his head out of the window and getting rained on. The head covered in water is our symbol for encephalitis, so this was included in the image to help you remember that this virus causes encephalitis. Hopefully this isn't too surprising considering that the name is California encephalitis. All right, now that we've covered the image, let's review with the question. A nine-year-old girl was brought to the emergency department due to altered mental status. Her father states that yesterday she complained of a headache and then vomited several times. However, this morning she was disoriented to time and place. During the interview, the patient begins to seize. After appropriate management, analysis of the CSF reveals an RNA virus with a single-stranded circular genome that has three segments. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Lymphocytic choriomeningitis virus B. California encephalitis C. St. Louis encephalitis or D. West Nile virus Hopefully from the question stem you notice that this girl has developed encephalitis. We can deduce this based on her altered mental status, headache, vomiting, and a virus that was found in the CSF. The question stem also states that the pathogen is an RNA virus with a single-stranded circular genome that has three segments, which helps us to know that this is a bunyavirus. Of the answer choices, only B is a bunyavirus, so the correct answer is B, California encephalitis. From the image, recall that the circles right here should help you remember that California encephalitis has a circular genome. The three-segmented candy bar over here should help you remember that it has three segments. The red-colored interior of the car should help you remember that it's an RNA virus. And finally, the boy getting rained on over here should help you remember that it causes encephalitis. A, C, and D can all cause neurological deficits, but only California encephalitis has a circular genome with three segments. So again, the correct answer is B. California encephalitis. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know about California encephalitis.